so for today's video I'm going to show you five monuments or plaza of Seville. I hope you're going to like it and let's go! The Metro Parasol, or called Las Setas by the local, was built in 2005 and took seven years in total to be completed in 2011. It's a wooden structure in the center of Seville and its height is approximately 26 meters or 85 feet tall. It's organized in four levels, the underground level where there is the antiquarium, the museum where Roman and Moorish remains discovered on site. The entrance costs 2 euro and 10 centimes. In level 1, in the central market, the roof of it is the open air public plaza. Level 2 and 3 are the two stages of the panoramic terrace, including a restaurant, offering one of the best view of the city center. This one only costs 3 euro with a drink, and I'm telling you, it's 100% worth it. Before the 11th century, the area that is now Plaza Nueva was part of the Guadalquivir River, river known as is the fifth longest river in the Iberian Peninsula and the second longest river in Spain. In the 1981, while digging the construct, the Seville Metro remains of a 10th century ship and a 2 meter long 6th century Byzantine anchor were found under the plaza. By the 11th century, the space was occupied by a cemetery and several orchards. The plaza as we know her now was completed in 1856. In the center of the plaza is an Christian statue of Fernando III, who conquered Seville for the Christians in 1248. A letter was declared as saint by the Catholic Church in 1671. The Cathedral of San Maria of the Sea, better known as Civil Cathedral, is a Roman Catholic cathedral. It was registered in 1987 by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. It is the 10th largest church in the world, as well as the largest Gothic church. Its royal chapel holds the remains of the city's conqueror, Ferdinand III of Castile, his son Alfonso the Wise, and their descendant king, Peter the Just. The funerary monument of four cardinals, Juan de Cervantes and Pedro González de Mendoza, are located among its chapel. Christopher Columbus and his son Diego are also buried in the cathedral. Seville Cathedral was built to demonstrate the city's wealth, as it had become a major trading center in the years after the Reconquista in 1248. In July 1401, city leaders decided to build a new cathedral to replace the Grand Mosque that served as the cathedral until then. According to the local oral tradition, the member of the cathedral chapter said, Hagamos una iglesia tan hermosa y tan grandiosa que los que la vieren labrada nos tengas por locos. Means, let's us build a church so beautiful and so grand that those who seize it, finish, will take us for mad. The Giralda is the bell tower of the Cathedral of Seville. The Giralda is the former minaret of the mosque that stood on the site under Muslim rules and was built to resemble the minaret of the Qutubia Mosque in Marrakesh, Morocco. It was converted into a bell tower for the cathedral after the Reconquista. Although the topmost section dates from the Re Renaissance, it was registered in the 1987 as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The General Archive of the Indies, housed in the Ancient Merchant Exchange of Seville, it is the repository of extremely valuable archival documents, illustrating the history of the Spanish Empire in the Americas and the Philippines. The structure and its contents also were registered in 1987 by UNESCO. Puerta de Jerez is one of the main pedestrian squares in Seville, located at the entrance to the monumental area of the city. 
Its name comes from the Old Jerez Gate, which was one of the main accesses to the city wall, and from where the road started to, from Seville to Jerez de la Frontera. The square has beautiful buildings that give the space great richness, such as Fuente Hispalis, Hispalis Fountain, located in the center. Then, the Hotel Alfonso 13, built for the 1929 exposition. Also, the Yanduri Palace, a French influence and built at the beginning of the 20th century. And lastly, the Casa de los Guardiola, House of los Guardiola, or the Chapel of Santa Maria de Jesus. In recent years, the space has been pedestrianized, joining the square with the Jardin de Cristina, making it a place of leisure and walk from the enjoyment of the passerby. Plaza de España is a plaza in the Maria Luisa Park, built in 1928 for the Ibero-American Exposition of 1929. The Plaza de España complex is a huge half circle with buildings continually running around the edge, accessible over the moat by numerous bridges representing the four ancient kingdoms of Spain. By the wall of the plaza are many tiled alcoves, each representing a different province of Spain. Each one is flanked by a pair of covered bookshelves, said to be used by a visitor in the manner of little free library. Each bookshelf often contains information about their province. Today, the Plaza de España mainly consists of government buildings, the central government department with sensitive adaptive redesign are located within it. Towards the end of the park, the grandest mansion from the fair have been adapted as museums. The farthest contain the city's archaeology collection. The main exhibits are Roman mosaics and artifacts from nearby Italica. The Plaza de España has been used as film location, including seen in the film Lawrence of Arabia. The building was used as a location in two of the Star Wars movie series. It also featured in the film The Dictator. This is it for today's video guys. I hope you really like it and it was helpful for you. So bye!